What up, world? So I uh, I just watched Jurassic World. It is the new movie in the Jurassic Park series uh, based on the books by Michael Crichton. The first two movies in the series were directed by Steven Spielberg. Jurassic Park came out in 1993. The Lost World Jurassic Park in 97. Jurassic Park 3 in 2001. And now this is their attempt at a series... I don't know, reboot, jumpstart, continuation. It takes place in the world of the first movie. It's starring Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, Ty Simpkins. I think the other kid's name is Nick Robinson. Um, uh, B.D. Wong, the only returning character from the first movie. Vincent D'Onofrio, Brian T., Jake Johnson, Omar Sy, and Judy Greer. That's that's the main cast, man. Everybody I remember. Uh, directed by Colin Trevorrow. He, uh, he directed Safety Not Guaranteed. And like I th off jump, I thought this was gonna be like a Mark Webb situation. Like he had a he had a dope five hundred days of summer, little sl slept on indie romantic comedy. Um, you know, a low, low, real low budget movie that he really smashed, knocked out of the park, and now he's got he's getting thrust into this fucking big ass um, franchise. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said with Mark Webb and Spider Man, um, at least the second Amazing Spider Man didn't get the best reception. I liked it. My review was up. It's gonna it's in a playlist from last year. But um, Jurassic World, and I mean. Just like with Entourage, man, if I want to be lazy, it's the, the story is dinosaurs get loose on an island and, and humans have to find out how to survive this nightmare. Really, it's, it's Jurassic World is fully operational. Hammond's vision from the first movie is come to life, man, and it's been, it's been operational for years. Bryce Dallas Howard is one of the leading brain trusts of Jurassic World, which is owned by Ear Fan Khan, I think the actor's name is. Um, he, ironically, who he was in the Amazing Spider-Man, but um, she is she she's like a business savvy individual who runs the park, and um, there's a new there's a new attraction you know what I'm saying attendance is starting to dip so there's a new attraction that everybody's looking forward to and then that that's you know the the dinosaur that in the trailers they say that they went and made it's probably not a good idea and as with the other three movies things don't go how they foresee them and then you you have to figure it out man Chris Pratt is the star of the movie as far as humans go. You know, we're all going for the dinosaurs. Uh, man, I'm not, I haven't really got into Parks and Recreation as much as I want to, yet I will eventually watch that entire series. But Chris Pratt came on in Guardians of the Galaxy last year, completely stole the show as far as, you know, humans, because, you know, Rocket and Groot stole that movie too. And, I mean, he owns this, man. He's funny. He starts off with a little bit of a... Uh, a country twang to his voice and then that that's gone and he sounds like himself as soon as the action kicks in um he trains raptors and i thought i was gonna have a problem with the believability as far as the raptor training but like they show that he doesn't completely have the raptors 100 percent in check and um i thought that was cool i thought that was real cool the indominus rex was cool to look at he was a beast. He fucked shit up everywhere he went. Um, the, the, I felt like the T-Rex was a little underutilized, but he still got his shine. Uh, the Sharkosaurus, whatever the thing in the water is called, was cool. If it, not the Indominus Rex, man. Dinosaurs we've seen before. The Raptors, man. The Raptors stole the show. Um, and... I mean, I mean, as far as humans, man, like the, the story arc of Bryce Dallas Howard and her character, man, you kind of didn't like her at the beginning of the movie. You did at the end. I thought that was cool. Like Chris Pratt kills it. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, basically, like he's like Engine's puppet. He works for the company that funds the park, basically, or or 
fund the research of creating the dinosaurs. And all he sees is dollar signs, just like every other villain in a Jurassic Park movie. Uh, just like Wayne Knight and the lawyer from the first movie who got eight on the toilet. Everybody remembers that scene, man. Um, there are so many callbacks to the original movie. I, I just I thought it was cool. Like, I ain't gonna bullshit y'all, man. As soon as the movie started, like I I wasn't in critic mode, man. It's Jurassic Park, man. So I was in fan mode. So my review might be a little biased, man. But fuck fuck a review for all my videos. Fuck a review. I'm just trying to tell y'all what I thought. Um. You had Jake Johnson was there. He was, Jake Johnson reminded me of Sandra Bullock in Demolition Man because he was like a loyal to, a loyalist to the original vision of how everything went. And I, that's what I, that's one thing. Like there, Bryce Dallas Howard and her high heels. There's no way she's lasting the whole movie in those shoes. Um, but another thing, I just wanted like one scene of just like witty dialogue and witty back and forth between Chris Pratt and Jake Johnson, and we just we didn't get that. But uh, I mean, he was cool for what he was in it. A little underused, but a little like in his place. I mean, of course, they set it up for a Jurassic Park Five or a, uh, the Lost World, Jurassic World for for lack of a better title. We're recording this review on a Saturday and seeing the Friday box office. I hope it's not heavily front loaded, but I mean I'm shocked by what it made on on on, on its opening day. So a couple, a couple of minor complaints, man. I mean I would love to see Chris Pratt come back, and with his background, with his character's backstory, he might not he might not be as shocked and as hesitant to return to this environment as uh, an Ian Malcolm or a uh alan grant where the the there was one cool scene in the original movies visitor center i thought that was one of the best parts and one of the best like like tip of the caps to the first movie um and it, it goes like of course it goes back to the original island how lost world had was on site b and jurassic park 3 was on site b um, I love that this one was back on the original island i love that they incorporated civilians the best way they can I just want to see this series like start to acknowledge the Mastodon and the Sabertooth Tiger. Uh, they existed in the, in the Jurassic era. I mean, if not, they wouldn't have got their own Power Rangers, right? So in my opinion, Jurassic World is dope as fuck. It has its flaws, of course. But as a fan, like I just love seeing the series back on the big screen. See it in IMAX if you can. Uh, my, my second favorite of the series, definitely... So, Better than Jura better than the Lost World by a hair. Way better than Jurassic Park three. Good acting, good direction. I mean, good story. I mean, the story to all four movies is the same. So, what I want to know, man, where does it rank within the Jurassic Park series for you? And as I posted on Facebook, um, did you watch the older movies in the series before this one came out? I did. I want to do it for uh, for for more movies this summer, man. Ted, Terminator, uh, Mission Impossible, Vacation, um, and then yeah, like Hotel Transylvania. You know what I'm saying? Like um, stuff like that, Star Wars. So next week I want to see Inside Out, and I just saw on Box Office Mojo that Dope is gonna get a nationwide release. So man, fingers crossed. I really hope Dope comes to my theater the week after that. Ted Two comes out, and then we're gonna be in July, man. Um, so, uh, hit me up where y'all hit me up, man. Peace.